let's draw some lines in the sand that we can see. The first one here will be where I'm going to the hole. That's where my club face is going to point. The second one is because in a bunker we need to use the back of the club, which would be the bounce of the club, we really need to aim a little bit further left. And what we'll do is we'll point that club face still at the hole, but we're gonna point ourselves over to the left a little bit. Now what'll happen, because I've opened my stance up, it's gonna feel like I'm back behind the ball here. If I was square, you know, I'd feel a little bit more on top. The more I get open, the more visually my eyes shift back here. So the most important part of setup, or one of the most important, they're all important, aren't they? is now I have to get myself to feel like I'm back ahead of the ball. And I would do that by really getting, feeling that I'm just loaded into my left knee. So now I feel my sternum, if I lined it up, is back ahead of the ball instead of behind the ball. From there, I just keep my knee as still as I can. The reason I have to be ahead of this ball, everyone knows when you hit fat ones or you hit thin ones out of the bunkers, it's because the club is really bottoming out too far. For a fat one, it's bottoming it back here and you're really not getting the sand to throw the ball whatsoever. And the thin one, you're either bottoming out back here and then catching the ball. So we want to, and I know this sounds a little bit scary, we want to hit as close to that ball as we can because we need to get the club under the ball to throw the sand out. And from there, it's just a nice smooth swing. And that's an up and down. 